you know, the left or have threatened to come into my driveway. You know, what they forget is, you know, we're concealed carriers in Alaska <laughs> and we're not afraid to stand up for our rights. <laughs>
in the last Man, week. Hey, bro, that shit needs to be dropping 50%, dog. It ain't going nowhere, bro. Fuck. It ain't going nowhere, bro. Go somewhere else, man. Go to another gym. Patricia Silva is the woman who had her membership revoked following the incident. She joins us here on National Report. Uh, Patricia, thank you so much for, for coming on. And again, your video has gone viral. Many people work out mm -hmm. again at Planet Fitness. They're seeing a loss, uh, obviously, over this viral video. We watched the video, uh, and seemingly there's no, no, no hate speech involved in it. Again, you, you talked about your Christianity, you know, your acceptance of everyone. Religious but just the sheer fact of being uncomfortable with a biological man in the women's locker room. Can you take us back to that moment? I'd be happy to, and I wanna first thank you for having me on today. I think this is a very important message for um, not just- Bro, and every... then like the optics look crazy, bro. Like, I, I, I don't know, ma'am, and I'm judging the book by its cover, but you're gonna cancel this sweet old lady's membership because she was trying to protect a little girl in the bathroom because there was a grown ass man in there shaving his beard. But the optics look crazy. I could see if it was like some, you know, abrasive ass in your, like, like me. You know what I'm saying? But like, as a woman, raising Cain, like, no, that. Out of here. She was sweet, bro. Little sweet ass little lady talking about, come on, man. Y'all got to do better. Y'all going to cancel her membership? <laughs> her membership, bro? Every gender in the world. We need to remember that uh, every life matters. And we want to be able to accommodate, but we also want to keep safe spaces for, you know, men, women, and other. So there are solutions to this problem. You just have to get people to go with that. Yeah. So... Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, so, Go ahead. so well, anyway, talk. I went into the gym, getting ready to work out. And as I walk in the gym, there's a man in the mirror and his reflection, my reflection, he was actually shaving his face. And I full face shaving cream. And I walked past That's a man, bro. And counted to 10 because I wanted to be. That's calm. a man. And as I walked out, I noticed that girl sitting in the corner. She was a young girl. I can't say what her age was, but. She was wrapped in a towel and she appeared to be very terrified that this man's in her locker room. And I said to him, hey, and he looked up. I took a picture of him, this one, and I said, Get your ass out of here. I don't want to be vulgar, but I, I said, <laughs> you know, you're a man with a penis and you're in a woman's locker room and that's not okay. You, you need to leave. And he argued with me, said, I'm LGB. I'm transitioning, and I can stay. That's it. And I stay. That's the password for anything, dog. I'm LGB. I'm LGB, T Q Z F over the damn six to the third power, dog. You say that, you can do whatever the fuck you want, wherever the fuck you want, whatever the fuck you want, regardless of who the hell is there, dog. Clearly, bro. Clearly, dog. This shit don't ever get old, bro, man. Play the fitness, dog. That you're making this a very uncomfortable situation, you need to leave. And he wanted to argue, so I walked out the front door. And as I walked out the front door, I stood at the edge of the bathroom because I wanted the the the, the desk. Uh, ain't no, was what about makes it what, 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 wanted, my bad, my bad. What makes it so bad or so much worse is that this this trans did no, not that that's a man, bro. This man making it so much worse for the actual trans that are trying to live here and just peace and harmony and not bother nobody, bro. You're not making it an effort, dog. You just feel entitled and secure enough and safe enough and ballsy enough to do what you're doing because you feel untouchable. You know, you can't nobody press you. Clearly can't nobody say nothing to you. The old lady get kicked out and your big brolic ass get to stay in there and continue scaring the out of kids, dog. Like, it's fucked up, bro. And it's making... It works for the trans. I'm saying y'all going to make people become homophobic. Y'all going to make people become transphobic. There's an agenda. It, it goes deeper than that. It goes deeper than that. And I ain't even trying to go down that rabbit hole right now. But just on the, on the superficial layer, y'all are making it worse for those that are actually out here just trying to live in peace. Because it ain't going to be no transgender nothing that's going to do what you just did. Ray's came with an old lady that's clearly in with, well within her rights to be upset by what the fuck she looking at watching your ass with 
shave a goddamn beard at the motherfucking women's bathroom, bro. You know what the fuck you was doing. You was trying to create a spectacle. You was trying to flex nut. You was trying to show just how untouchable y'all fuckers really are, right? Eventually, it's going to come a pivotal moment, dog, where we either going to go this way or we going to go that way. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we continue going this way. But sooner or later, I'm going to get pissed off, dog. Be pitchforking it up, bro. Real talk. Y'all real LGBTQ people. I don't even want to do that. That's disrespectful because the real ones, the L, the, 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 L, the lesbians, the gays, and the bi's, the, the real ones don't want nothing to do with the QTIAs because y'all making it worse for them. Like, they want to split up with y'all. You know what I'm talking about? But all y'all fucking weirdos. That are fucking up for everybody else. You fuck y'all weirdos are fucking up for the real motherfuckers, bro. I know they're back sitting there like, damn, dog. We can't do nothing. Go to another gym. Go to Crunch. Go to Crunch. So I said, excuse me. Uh, there's a man in the women's locker room shaving his face, and it's not okay. And so I proceeded to walk out the door, and as I'm going out the door, a woman says, it's a girl. I said, it's a man. Mm. That was that take on it and I walked outside and I videotaped that message and then I went home and the next day uh, about 8 55 a.m. Planet Fitness called me and they said they were canceling my membership because I crossed boundaries <laughs> and I said explain please and they said you took a picture in the men's locker room and I said the sad part about this whole thing is that man can walk up to this desk and he can say he's a man and you're not asking for a government ID that I can tell and he now gets to enter. Now, it's not just him. It's any man that walks the streets. And that's what costs us our children and our women's uh, vulnerabilities, uh, rapes many times. I mean, this guy might be just fine. He oh, might they're trying to be... twist it. Planet Fitness. I'm reading about them. Planet Fitness. Silva violated our mobile device policy. Oh, prohibiting photography in the locker room. That's how they got her. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Fuck out of here, dog. Fuck out of here. Be a perpetrator. But guess what? He's a man. He's, he's He was born man. And he should choose not to be in the women's locker room. And that is my heart. Yeah. So again, Patricia, you were saying that the per the photo of the person on the screen, uh, a biological man, clearly so, um, yes. claims to be a woman and therefore was using the <laughs> women's to be a locker woman, room bro. at the Planet Fitness. And you pointed out that you noticed that there was a, a young girl, unclear of the age, but un clearly under the age of 18, a minor girl who was in a towel wrap, felt uncomfortable that again, a full grown adult male was using yeah. the same space as she was, and you took issue with that. And again, there's a yeah. reason why this story has gone viral, Patricia. And I think it ain't going viral enough. You are voicing such an obvious concern. It ain't going viral that enough. Many women and men would share when it comes to the safety of a woman's space. Um, and we've been following the story. Now you've been kicked out of Planet Fitness. We do have a response by Planet Fitness, and they claim it's because you violated the gym's policies. We'll read it here uh, for our viewers. The policy regarding transgender individuals, reading this, all members will have access to restroom and locker room facilities that correspond to their self-reported gender identity to the extent permitted by applicable law. If it is confirmed that a member is acting in bad faith and improperly asserts a gender identity, they may be asked to leave and their membership may be terminated here. <laughs> Uh, so again, uh, Patricia, did, did, were you aware of this policy? Do you believe this is an acceptable policy here? Hell no. Number one, it is not an acceptable policy. Again, any man can walk in that room, walk in the gym, and say I'm a girl and walk in there. It doesn't matter. They don't have to verify anything. They have no, uh, they have no accountability for that, number one. Yesterday, a friend of mine went in the gym and she said she walked in and there he was again shaving, but this time he had one of the employee women from the front desk in the room with him to protect him. Wow. So walking in the gym, no. Wow. He has authority to be there. And if they're uncomfortable, <laughs> they can go find a stall. So that's what they did. What hey. They did there? They hey, bro, where Riley Gaines at, dog? <laughs> where Riley at, bro? That's crazy as hell, dog. 
That's crazy, bro. It ain't crazy. It ain't crazy, bro. But they drawing the line in the sand, bro. Damn, man. Fuck these motherfuckers, bro. But it's I'm frustrated because it's so easy to get rid of this. It's so easy to stop this nonsense, bro, because the customers got all the power in this shit, bro. Fuck a plan and fitness, bro. Y'all are nobody. And y'all gonna sit in here and treat women like that? You gonna get this motherfucker a bodyguard to, to continue scaring women in the bathroom? To continue scaring children in the bathroom? Y'all gonna get y'all gonna protect this motherfucker when y'all really need to be protecting the women. Especially because that's where your bag is, bro. Like this fool only account for what? 0.5% of y'all members, bro. Y'all gonna y'all gonna go out like this, bro? It's just it's woke, but then it's just fucking stupid, right? I got excited, bro. I got excited because you know, I, I know how people are, bro. Like people don't really do nothing until it affects them themselves. You know what I'm saying? That's when y'all do shit about it, bro. But like. Y'all gotta do something, man. Y'all got shit, men and women. This trans bullshit, this woke shit, bro, could be the mend that is for, that that is necessary between men and women today. Because men and women are so divided because of social media and feminine the feminist movement and and uh uh the emasculation of men. It's just just gender wars. It's been gender wars for a little while now. You know what I'm saying? But this trans is so polarizing and is so in your face and the audacity behind it. This trans agenda is what men and women need to come back together, right? You got women out here f fighting for their right to be women, and you should have and you have men out here fighting and protecting women as well too, right? It's like a a way for men to become back protective over women, and another way for women to feel like they are being protected by men because they want that narrative is out there like women don't need men and men don't need women and shit, bro. Clearly, we both need each other and we both would benefit from coming together and ending this shit right now ending this shit today bro when you go woke you absolutely go broke and when you play with motherfucking safety it's curtains bro like get these motherfuckers the fuck out of here bro they took a woman's rights her safe space and they created an unsafe space for this man crazy or for men it's crazy and they are I, I feel like that is not kosher. Misogynistic ass we, Planet I mean, Fitness, bro. I'm just dumbfounded because that's the first time I've seen a picture of, of <laughs> this individual. Ah, facts. Clearly a, a, a man in, in, in the bathroom here, despite what is going through this, this person's mind. Um, but it's very, it's, I mean, it's clear as day. Um, and anyone that's walking in the, the women's restroom, seeing this person in there, obviously would be thinking, "Hey, you, you might have wandered in the wrong restroom here. Facts. You might be, you might want to, you might want to change." Um, aside from that, I, you spoke out about it. You put the video out about it. There's been statements put out by Planet Fitness speaking out about this. I'm curious to know what kind of have you received any backlash about you speaking out about you taking the picture of this man in the women's I bet bathroom her life has been threatened um, <laughs> her life has been threatened has anyone reached out on because she media out here about this feeling threatened you? for women well of course you know once once you get one person's opinion everybody has one and especially um you know the left or have threatened to come into my driveway you know what they forget is we you know we're concealed carriers and <laughs> and we're not afraid to stand up for our <laughs> hey uh, hey i fuck with patty i fuck with patty bro can i call her patty patty you hard dog it's dope too because she's older i don't know how old she is but she's older you know the old generation don't give a fuck they don't give a fuck. hey Go around and find out <laughs> y'all would have threatened my life hey it's concealing carry bit don't get it fucked up Pull up if you want to. <laughs> Pull up if you want to, bro. That's hard, bro. They picked the right way. She remind me of um the the the, the one dude had had the shop and the big trends came in this store <laughs> and, and, and Cuz was like, hey, you're not a you're not a fucking woman. Cuz was like, I don't give a fuck. You know, everybody's out here some punks. They some bitches because they don't fucking call it like it is, bro. You're not a fucking woman, bro. <laughs> So you are not you. a fucking chick. Why am I so horrible? To Do you, you still have a debt? 
You know what? That is none of your fucking business. Do you still have a debt? That is none of your you business. Do, guess what? Check would it you, out. Would you go to anybody else and ask them about their privates, about their genitalia? I would. No. I would if they are. Really? If they're fucking really? nuts. Really? Really? That how do you so how do you dude. fucking live with yourself? How do I? I do live you know, with buddy, myself openly now. Nobody, thankfully. Do you think there's one person that really thinks that you really thinks that you're a chick? I know a lot of people that agree with me and that accept me for who I know, am. And the fact that you're gonna nobody, be here with a sign nobody, like that nobody, is bullshit. Nobody confronts you. That's yes, the they problem. They do. They're at, they do all they do the not. time. Well, then what the fuck's wrong with you? What why the fuck is wrong why with you? Why are you doing this? Why? Because what? this is who I am, sir. Oh, fuck this that shit. This is who I am. Fuck that you shit. You can't deal with it. You I don't want to deal with it. You don't you, want to deal with you it. You got that That doesn't right. mean that you can put a sign up like that and not get confronted over you, it. And when you are, and you get upset, because I'm you, upset that you pull this shit. You make me uncomfortable. Bullshit. Because really? you're fucking nuts. Get the nuts. fuck away from me. Then you get out of my store. I will. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I mean? Like, this is a version of that, just, you know, more family friendly. You know what I'm saying? But with all the same, bro, you picked the right one. Like, that, that was the, this was the right person to walk in that gym and, and, and raise Kane because she ain't scared. She ain't got nothing to lose, bro. You know what I'm saying? When that concealing carry came out, bro, whoo, 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 I felt that, dog. Say it again, baby girl. Threatened to come into my driveway. You know, what they forget is, you know, we're concealed carriers in Alaska and we're not afraid to stand up for our rights. Uh, but there have been threats to come to my I driveway. Love it. Um, you know, I reached out to the police and asked, what are my rights? I would like an investigation uh, over this man walking in Planet Fitness and with the authority to go into the bathroom without any validation. Cops ain't doing that shit. They won't. Nor, nor female. And they basically told me I had no rights, mm. that he has every right because he identified mm. as a girl. Mm. And I had a few words with them and then mm. I hung up because, you know, I could be what it is. I took that picture for them and I took that picture to show the community. I was bringing an awareness to Fairbanks. I had no clue, of course, that this would go viral. She's so and hard, bro. It did because it's going to be more than that for me now. I mean, this is my mission. I'm a very passionate, uh, very compassionate also you know i believe that this person has the right to have an establishment where he too can feel safe and but not in the not women's, in women's bathroom, bathroom no someone reached out yesterday and said um you know he doesn't have any place else to go or she doesn't have any place else to go i said if your born identity is male or female you have an exact place to go otherwise these establishments that wants to accommodate need to accommodate for real they really should take the liberty to create a safe space for them if they can't go in their designated, you know, gendered bathroom, which is male. So that's my take on that, too. She's fire, bro. She's fire. They picked the right one. Just like, just make the trend they're not gonna do it though they like all this drama they like the divide they like the the, the powers that be this to put this is what the fuck they want you know what i'm saying and i hate that argument too you know we can't have a trans bathroom because then the trans will be targeted and identified because we'll know that's where all the trans go where is the a transgender's life more threatened or vulnerable or at risk in a trans only bathroom or a grown man going to a woman's bathroom where women literally feel threatened or a trans woman going into a male bathroom where the trans male will be threatened. You know what I'm saying? Like, wh where is your life more at risk? It's going, like I said, it's going to come to a teetering point where it's going to buck the fuck up, dog. And you going to keep pulling this dumb shit. To the, to the point where you have, you gave the whole trans damn bodyguard, dog. I'm saying, if I'm these women, bro, it's going to come a time where they're going to just come together and... <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers <are> crazy. <laughs> anyway, bro, Patricia is hard. She's adorable. She's fiery. She's a little firecracker with it. Pick the right one. Cancel your Planet Fitness membership today. Go somewhere else, bruh. Go somewhere else.